coming up, distilling the facts from the fiction about alcohol. You might be surprised to learn, but wine packs more kilojoules than beer by volume. And these days, it packs more punch than it used to. My name's Joe Avati. I've got an honours degree in food science, and I'm here as your average Joe. I'm Italian, and I just love my food. Every alcoholic drink contains kilojoules, and lots of them. There are many myths and misconceptions surrounding alcohol. Joe Avati distills the facts from the fiction. We all know beer can give you the iconic Aussie beer gut. That's why there's been an explosion lately of the low carb varieties. They've been promoted as being the weight conscious healthy alternative. But sad to say, that's just a load of marketing hype. Sales of these low carb varieties have soared by 250% in the past year. But even regular beer is already low in carbs. The average lager contains just 2% by volume. Three quarters of the kilojoules in beer come from the alcohol. So reducing the amount of carbs only brings down the number of kilojoules by about 20%. Instead of 600 per stubby, you'll swallow 470. However, low alcohol beer actually contains less kilojoules than low carb varieties. So if you want to look after the waistline, choose a low alcohol beer over the rest. You might be surprised to learn, but wine packs more kilojoules than beer by volume. And these days, it packs more punch than it used to. I thought it was just me getting older, but the alcohol content of wine is going up. It's not the winemakers just trying to make us tipsy quicker. It's all to do with how the grapes ripen. The more sunshine and heat the grapes get while growing, the more sugar they produce and that means the greater the alcohol content. And then there's the other process called phenolic ripening, which gives wine its flavor. This occurs in the tannins containing the grape skins and seeds. Now in hotter climates like ours, sugar ripening happens much faster than phenolic ripening. So the growers have to leave the grapes on the vines longer to get their flavor, which means more sugar and more alcohol. And what about spirits? Your average mixed drink contains about 25% more kilojoules than the same amount of wine. Most of it comes from the sugar found in the soft drink mixer. For instance, a rum and cola has about 760 kilojoules. And if you like those full-on cocktails with multiple spirits and mixers, it's well over a thousand. Adding diet mixers will reduce the amount of kilojoules, which means the 760 in the rum and cola becomes 460 when substituted by diet cola. Either way, that's still a lot of empty kilojoules. And that's just in one drink. You might think mixing your vodka with orange or cranberry juice is more nutritious. But in fact, the diuretic effect of the alcohol means the vitamin C won't have time to be absorbed. So we've talked beer, wine and spirits, but does mixing them make you drunker than if you were to stick with one poison all night long? Well, there's no evidence to prove that theory. It all comes down to how much alcohol you've drunk, not what bottle it came from. If your liver can't process it, your stomach reacts badly and your head starts pounding. Making your hangover worse, no matter how much you drink, could be the histamines in wine. However, 
only a small percentage of us are allergic to the histamines which occur naturally in all grapes. You'll also find them in tomatoes, strawberries and spinach. Red wine has up to 200 times the amount of histamines than in white wine. And beer has a lot less than both. But it might not be the histamines in the wine that you're allergic to. It's just as likely to be the preservatives found in all vinos. The main ones are sulphites, which occur naturally in all grapes. White and dessert wines have more added preservatives than reds and there's really no way to completely avoid them if you drink wine. But many organic wines have up to 50% less added sulphites. So if you have symptoms like itchy eyes, headaches, or trouble breathing after you drink wine, best to get an allergy test and find out what's really causing the problem. Which is better, brown rice, white rice, or wild rice? Find out after the break. Before the break, we asked which type of rice is best for you, brown, white or wild. The answer, brown rice is better than white, but wild rice is better than both. It has more protein, fibre, complex carbs and niacin. 